two, one, go. At the start of the match, the robots can choose to be preloaded with one game piece. They try to place that immediately into the grid before grabbing another potentially from on the field. However, they can receive points for simply crossing outside of their community, just like 2867 just did at the end of that autonomous period. As we move into teleoperated, the students have picked up the controllers and are now in charge of these robots. 328 trying to make its way off of the charge station so they can begin playing in the match. 4982 throwing off its swerve drive and its nimble ability to cross the field, a very useful thing for this year's game, tossing it gracefully into the second bit of the grid. Eats cube or cone placed in the second row or that medium slot is worth three points for their alliance. 74, 77 sitting on the far side or audience side of the field, I should say, waiting to cause some havoc for any robots trying to cross their path. Engaging its tactic of defense, trying to prevent other teams from scoring. 3176, waiting peacefully next to the, its grid, waiting to charge into action as soon as they get reconnected. 44-7, making their way over the charge station. A lot of teams opting to do this. Although it's more wear and tear on their robot, it takes less time than going all the way around their charge station. 44-7 having a unique grabber mechanism similar to a claw machine, having one axis to extend and another one down to grab. 2867 making use of their loading area. That's where they can interact with their human players, even delivering them cones or cubes into the playing field for them to use by their robots. Just about 45 seconds remaining in the match. Forty-nine, eighty-two, trying to make some final point scores. Not many links in this match, but still plenty of points to earn in Endgame. Blue Alliance already has all three robots with plenty of time to make adjustments. They're hoping to get 30 points for their alliance by having three robots balanced. That might be the difference for this match. Both teams sitting proud and pretty, waiting for this match to terminate as they're happy with their current standings. And that was the end of qualification match 34. We'll have to see how these scores total up. Here are your scores for qualification match 34. The winner is the Red Alliance. Well, the score is 67, a difference of only four points, taking home two ranking points since they not get the linkage or bonus during autonomous period.